Hey guys, it's Sandy here. Welcome to my upstairs living room. Yeah, it's about nine o'clock, I think, and my day is not ending yet. My day usually ends about midnight, probably just like some of the rest of you folks. Got, uh, where is he? Lex is looking out the window there. <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to come on and talk to you a little bit about, you know, sometimes you kind of wonder out there when you see all these photos and videos of, you know, people working out and before and after photos and you think to yourself, is that real? Like, is it possible? Was it photoshopped? Is there a trick in some way? Hi, Izu. And I'm here to tell you guys that no, it's not a trick and it is real. If you are committed to a healthy life and you're following an exercise program that's geared towards your goals, really, and a meal plan and you have a plan of where you want to be, it is possible. And I'll tell you something, even my mom, when she was visiting this summer, she asked me, like I was telling her about this program that Sheldon and I were doing, Sheldon's my husband, I was telling her, you know, how great it was and, and the results we were getting. And so then she went and watched an infomercial on it as well. And then she came back to me and said, like, is it real? Like, does it work? And which is kind of funny when you think about it, because I've been in the industry, the health and fitness industry, like for 23 years. And, you know, I've been a trainer and a business owner for a decade, but, and Canada's top trainer, 2015, 2016, but even my mom still questioned whether or not, you know, it's possible for people to get results, you know, with these programs. And, and yeah, you can. And so now she's on the same program we're doing, and it's pretty fabulous to be able to help not only friends and family, but to even extend our reach because Sheldon and I have owned Body Balance here in Winnipeg since 2008. And it, I still felt like it wasn't enough, even though that we've helped hundreds of thousands of people, like since I've been a trainer over a decade, we've helped so many people move forward of all ages, all fitness levels, but I still felt like we weren't reaching everyone. There was still people at home that couldn't make it to the studio. There was still people, you know, outside of Winnipeg. There was still people outside of Manitoba, even outside of Canada. So now we're in a position, now that we've teamed up with this great company called Beachbody, and some of you have heard of this company and maybe even heard of the radio advertisements in Winnipeg and seen it on TV. We've teamed up with this company and, you know, it's absolutely amazing. You can help anybody across the U.S. and Canada in your own home and you don't need fancy equipment that's the other thing we work out in the morning uh, together in our home basement and what do we have we have hand weights and we have a pull-up bar and we have two benches who's on with me <laughs> james <laughs> nice <laughs> the third period just started well then why are you watching me <laughs> uh, hi tara hi robin so really you don't need a lot of fancy equipment and you don't need to spend a lot of money to get results. The results Sheldon and I have got over the years since we've been doing these programs, we started doing them in, before we got married, we got married in 2008, we started doing these programs in, I think 2006, 2007 and we had nothing. When we first started out it was like 8 pounds and 10 pound weights and that was it. Like we didn't even have a pull up bar and then when we did have the pull up bar we didn't even know how to use it. So because that was before I became a trainer. So no, you don't need a lot of fancy equipment equipment to get the job done. You don't need a lot of time either. Our workout this morning was about 48 minutes. And then I just finished um, another one now. And that's the other thing too, is don't think that you need to be doing two, three, four workouts a day. When you see me posting that I'm doing more than work one workout, don't think, oh, well, you know, I'm failing at whatever it is I'm doing because I only got one workout in. No, it's not about that. This second workout that I usually put in right here, and yes, it's real, I've got my mat out, and this isn't just for show. 
<laughs> I live and breathe this stuff. I don't know about you guys, but some of you probably hit your late 30s, maybe you're in your 40s. Well, I'll tell you something, I'm 45. I am in the best shape of my life. And, but I do have to work a little harder. Some of you know, once you get into the 40s, you know what I'm talking about, right? Oh, I got a message here. Don't they know I'm live? <laughs> Anyways, yes, I do have to work a little harder now and I do have to watch my food because I'm on a, a fairly, I don't know if strict's the right word, but I'm, during the week, Monday to Friday, I've got a good meal plan that we're doing here at home. And we stick to it and it keeps me consistent. You're wondering, well, how do you manage to keep doing it, you know, around? Here's the thing, you wanna be fit year round. It's not about just getting fit for, you know, to get into a bikini or get fit for um, a trip or something. Those are good goals and those will get you started. But ideally, it's easier on your body if you can maintain it year round. And why I add this workout in in the evenings is because it's 20 minutes for me. And it's 20 minutes for me and my flexibility. And those of you that are hitting your 40s and you know into your mid 40s like I am right now, hi Carla, hi Amanda, you will, if you're not there yet, you will start noticing that it will take a little bit more to keep your flexibility, to maintain your healthy body weight, and to just feel good and have your energy. So yes, I do two, usually two workouts a day, but this one's 20 minutes, and it's yoga and Pilates. And so I find that my quads tend to get really tight a lot because I'm also a horseback rider, so I'm speaking to you horseback riders as well. Or anybody that does a lot of walking, or you're, you're jogging, or you're cycling, you're doing a lot where your quads are involved. And so when your quads get tight, I know because I'm going to get off topic here, but when your quads get tight, you get it, they get into a tug of war with the hamstrings at the back. So you may be overstretching your hamstrings thinking it's your hamstrings that are tight, but it's actually your quads that are tight that are pulling on them. And, uh, and then the hamstrings pull in the lower back and that's a whole other topic. But how I keep mobile and keep things moving, especially now that we're going into winter now where you may be, you folks that ride, you're in a cold barn maybe, um, you folks that are gonna be shoveling the driveway and things like that, you're gonna get cold, you're gonna start to shake it and the body does not like that. <laughs> that shaking puts everything out in your, in your skeletal system and your muscles get really, really tight and they start pulling on the skeletal system. So you wanna stay, my point is, stay stretched out. And it is only 20 minutes, it's my time in the evening. And because I spend a lot of my day, cause it's what I do, I spend a lot of time training people. You know, my morning starts with me, my workouts, with my husband, but it also ends with me as well. And people always wonder how I maintain that balance because I'm helping you know, hundreds of people a day, really, when you think about it, online and at the studio, in classes and personal training. And so I'm always practicing what I teach, instead of practice what you preach, about maintaining balance. And, and that is key, no matter if you're an entrepreneur like myself, you're, or you're working nine to five for someone else, or you're at home working from the home, um, with, you know, children, three, four kids, I don't care what you're doing, but you have to maintain that balance because this is my 20 minutes. It's just me and my program at the end of the day with my yoga mat. And I know you moms out there that are so, so busy. It really is hard to find, you know, time for you. But here's the thing. If you don't plan that time for you, you will not have what you want to give to others right? Because if you're always giving, 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 you're going to get to the point where you're going to hit a brick wall. And we call it in the fitness industry. Um, uh, what is it? What do we call it? It's hitting a brick wall, but oh, burnout. That's what I'm looking for. You know, a lot of people I think thought I was going to burn out when, especially last year was crazy when I became, well, I became an international trainer, um, in the new year this year. But when I had all the media happening last year, when I won, you know, Canada's top trainer, it was bonkers and photo shoots and all, what do you say? Get out of there, Lex. Yeah, we have fur kids and he's into a box of paperwork right there. Anyways, people I think thought I was gonna burn out because 
I was always doing so much, but I always have people that keep me grounded so I never lose who I am or lose my head over things and stay grounded and stay balanced. And I think that's really, really important. Hi, Carla. I think it's really important no matter where you're at. And you know, I came from a corporate background. Like this is my third career. And a lot of people don't realize this is I was a nurse's aide for 10 years. Okay. Then I was in corporate and HR and all kinds of things. And then hi, Janet. Hi, Ella. And so this career right now, I've been in for a decade now <laughs> as well. Okay. And I, and I think this is the one, I think this is my niche. I think this is what I was building towards. So this is my third career. And so you people in the corporate industry or that are working the nine to five Monday to Friday desk job, I so know, um, what you're feeling. I don't need to be in that industry anymore to know what you're dealing with. I know there's office politics. I know that, um, you know, you're probably working overtime and things like that. And it can be very, very stressful. I'll give you a little tip. One of the last places I worked for was Winnipeg Regional Health Authority. And <laughs> I had a corporate gym membership, okay, at Shapes. And so I'd work, you know, my eight hours and then I'd go to the gym. And, um, that's sort of how I got inspired to become a trainer. But anyways, my point is I started sitting on an exercise ball. You know, the big round balls are called stability balls or exercise balls. I started sitting on one of those balls. So you might want to try this. If, if you can get your office to agree to it, I actually started sitting on that ball at work, not because I had a posture problem, but because I had that three o'clock, you know, at three o'clock, you're just kind of sliding under your desk. You're like, Oh, I need a chocolate bar. I'm like, you know what I mean? You're just kind of losing it at that, at that three o'clock where you just need energy. Hi, Amanda. So true. Balance is the way I've been able to keep my sanity. Yes, Amanda, a mom of two now, right? And have a, a busy world at home and now working out. Okay. Let's not get off track. Sitting on your ball. Now I'm just speaking to the corporate people or, or at office, but if you're working at home and you're in your office too, you could be sitting on this exercise ball. Now, how I started out was I started about five, 10 minutes straight on the ball. And then I'd switch back to my chair and then I'd go to 30 minutes. Okay. And then I'd switch my chair up and then I'd go to an hour and I go to two hours, three hours, half a day. By the time I left there, I was, and if Shannon's on here, Shannon and I used to work together in the corporate world. And, uh, by the time I left the WRHA, other people in the department were sitting on these balls and I was up to a full day on an exercise ball. And it's so great for posture because again, as you start to get older and if you start having children and you're holding them and you're leaning forward and, and you know, if you're doing a manual job, you just I'm watching the cars go by here. Hello. Uh, you start rolling your shoulders forward. You really want to make sure that you're keeping good posture. So sitting on a ball, you won't be able to slouch and slide down your chair. Like you would be able to, you could sit on that ball for eight hours. Like I did. And then shortly after I, I was taking university courses and then, you know, became a trainer and then the rest is history. Here we are a decade later. But every time I see one of those exercise balls at the studio, I am reminded how I used to sit on it for like eight hours a day. And, uh, I remember people coming into my office and when you get up, the ball would slide under the desk and then like people would come in for a meeting or something and they're looking around going like, where's your chair? And I would slide this ball out from under the <laughs> desk. Right? So you can get your exercise in anywhere, no excuses. And that would be a great place to start is exercise. Well, I'll have it in the living room. And if you're watching a movie or whatever, and a show and on commercials, you're, you're sitting on the ball. And who knows, maybe I'll do a video on how to do exercises on the ball. But anyways, the whole point of this video was I wanted you to know that yes, things are real. When you see me posting photos uh, before and after of Sheldon and I, or photo shoots or, you know, clients that we've helped or, you know, that we worked out and things like that, it is real. And I know a lot of times things that we see, you know, out there on Facebook or, or internet or whatever. I mean, it could just seem false, but, uh, those of you that know me and that have followed me and have actually been at body balance for many years, you know, exactly the place I come from. And it's all about helping people 
And so thanks so much for tuning in here, guys. It was just a really nice way to kind of close my day off. And I, I feel that I can make more of a connection with you on these live videos because you're probably sitting at home. Maybe you're drinking a cup of tea or coffee or you're having a late supper or maybe you've got the baby on your lap trying to get to sleep or you're just getting ready to wind down. And I just sort of feel that connection of this is what I'm doing to wind down. And uh, Sheldon will be home soon. He works all day with his parents. at um, He does office equipment repair, sales and service at IG office. His business, his parents' business is right next to our business, Body Balance. And so he works there all day and then he goes next door to our business and he does massage because he has massage therapy background. And tonight I think he has, he does judo as well. Those of you judo fans. So yes, he throws people around just for fun. And uh, yeah, so we'll probably have Epsom salt baths tonight or maybe a sauna or something just to kind of close things off. And our family time is usually between um, 10 and 12. Hi, Diane. And uh, so I'm just wondering, you know, guys, what does what your family time look like or your end of day look like? like? Do you get to, you know, have that time with your partner or your hubby or your kids? Is there that window? Our, like I said, ours is, what time is it? Just about 9.30. Yeah, he'll probably be home around 10 and then we'll have that two hour window of, you know, just sort of catching up with what happened with the day. And you know, that's that's another thing too is, is communication is so important. I know we started this video one direction, but I like to talk about all kinds of things and what's going on with my hair. Hey, I finished a workout. What can, what can we say? Communication is so important. You know, one of the things that we do at the end of the day is we just, you know, look at each other and say, how was your day? And it's so simple and it can just open that door to just hearing about somebody else's day or being able to share yours. And that is healthy. And, you know, Sheldon and I always say we're, we're soulmates. We're actually the same sign. And we've been together uh, 13 years now, still feel like we're dating. And I know some of you guys out there can relate to this. It is very nice to be able to share a life with someone who has the same goals as you, who is very similar, has similar interests, but yet you have enough difference that it just keeps things interesting, right? So I'm going to sign off for now. I'm not going to hold you up any longer, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. And, you know, comment below. I'm interested in, you know, what you do to wind down at the end of the day. You know what I do, 20 minutes of this program. And so share with me what you guys do. I'm really interested. And I will see you all tomorrow when I start it all over again with my workouts and, and live videos.